Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Tonight we're going to be having a look at this awesome luxury folding EDC knife from M Custa. This is the Tsuchi. And as always, guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase this awesome folding knife from M Custa and help support the channel, make sure you check out the link in the description below because you do get a commission if you purchase this knife. And of course, before getting started, just want to thank the good folks out at MCUSTA for sending me this knife to review. Let's get started. Now, this version of the Tsuchi belongs to the Shinra line in MCUSTA's lineup, and you can recognize them by these beautiful Damascus handles that they have on here. Now, we've done reviews for all of these three, and if you haven't seen those, I'll just leave links right up here so you can check them out. But for now, let's check out this guy. Let's begin with a quick size reference, just so you get a better idea for the overall size of this knife. Here's a look at it vertically. And now with the blade open. Back to vertical with the blade open. Let's take a quick measurement here. Blade closed, looks like it's just about three and three quarter inches long. And a measurement with the blade open from the tip of the blade to the end of the handle, just about six and a half inches overall length. Let's have a look at the top of the knife here so you get a better idea for how thick this knife is. And look at how that CNC machining catches the light. All right, so here is a pair of chopsticks. That's going to be the thicker side. This is the thinner side. And I don't think it's going to be... That's the thicker side there. Yeah, too thick. It's more in line with the thinner side. Let's take a quick measurement here. Thickness looks like it's just about 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. Let's have a quick look at the thickness of the spine. And that is more of a drop point blade on this guy. It's pretty thick up top. You can probably fit about two US quarters on here. Yeah, that's about how thick that is. All right, let's get this on the scale so you know how much weight you're gonna be putting in your pocket. Coming in at 3.4 ounces. And just in case you're wondering what 3.4 ounces feels like, well, if you got a deck of cards around the house, weighs the same amount as one of those. Let's have a look at your opening mechanism. These are dual thumb studs. So you can open this with your right or your left thumb. And look at the bluing they put on here. Now, I don't know if this is part of the anodizing process or if they've case hardened it, but it's kind of a bluish purple bronze on the inside. Same thing with the pivot, a little bit different color on this side. This one's actually a little bit more blue. Now this is an anodized pivot pin and it's riding on Teflon washers. Opens up super quick, smooth. This is also a liner lock and look how tight the liner lock is in here. Tolerance are so tight. When you flick this blade open, this arm will swing over and lock to the base of the blade here to make sure the knife blade doesn't close. To disengage it, you just move this arm on the side, closing this with one hand, very easy. Let's have a look at the blade up front. No jimping here, just smooth lines all the way down to this nice fine point. Drop point blades are really thick. You're gonna have a lot of mass behind this edge, so it's gonna be a very strong blade. This is a true Damascus pattern. It's not laser etched on there. We also have a sharpening choil right here that's going to help you sharpen this edge from the tip all the way down to the base now as far as grinds go if you tip this knife on the side and you run your fingers right here there is a small curvature so it's a little bit of a hollow point but not by much you can see that there's a little gap there so with this edge on here it's going to be a nice slicer the technique used to make the steel up front is called Sanmai or three layers. You basically have your Damascus layers on the outside, VG10 core in the middle. Now VG10 used to be a super steel back in the day. In a lot of ways, it still is. It's got about 15% chromium, so it's going to give you really good corrosion resistance. It's easy to sharpen, easy to maintain, it takes a really fine edge, and the edge retention is pretty good. So the way you make Damascus is you basically have two types of whatever steel and you tend to just stack them how you want. So we're just going to go alternating like this and you can go as many layers as you want. You can fold it over as many times as you want. But basically you get your billets, you mix them up, you weld them together and then you forge them. And that's what makes that wavy pattern. 
So let's say now you have your two Damascus billets here. Now you're going to put your VG10 in the middle. You're going to stack them together, weld them together, and then forge them. That's how you get Sanmai, three layers. Let's have a closer look at these beautiful Damascus handles. Look at this hammer texturing. This wave pattern is brought out after forging. They acid etch it. But look at that. Look at how this hammer texture along with the Damascus picks up the light. All this beautiful CNC machining. And look at how tight the tolerances are. Again, look at where the liner is. There is a gap here, but it's so hard to see. Same thing with the backspacer here where your lanyard hole is at. You can't even see that gap. Gorgeous. All right, I'm able to get four fingers on here. That is an attention getter. I want to get you guys another close up of this backspacer in here because this really does look like one solid piece of steel. You can barely see the seams in there. And they got that lanyard hole integrated into the backspacer. It's just so well done. Last thing I want to show you is the pocket clip. Skeletonized here, nice and round. Get your profile view there. And this is reversible to the other side. Tip up carry only. Let's have a quick look at what this knife is gonna look like when you dunk it down in your pocket. Right, it's gonna stick up just a little bit for easy draw. Get you guys a profile view. Once again, guys, this has been the Tsuchi from MCusta. If you're looking for an EDC knife for yourself, or if you're looking to give a gift and you want something with a really unique look, awesome steel, and most importantly, going to maintain that high quality of standard from Japan, this might be a great option for you. Well, all right, guys, this is the ending of the video. Remember, if you want to purchase this awesome knife from MCusta, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.